All right, it's time for a Lee Sin game. I'm against a Mumu. Matchup wise, this is good for me because a Mumu doesn't really do too much early game. So I could maybe look for an invade. We'll see. Lanes wise, both my top and mid have like ignite. Uh, so kill pressure on those two is fairly high. We'll see about Shen though, because his dodge field is pretty annoying, but yeah. Bolton as well, Draven, so that means they're probably going to get pushed in, which could result in like a gank opportunity as well. I have a Braum for pretty good setup, so that's good. Before we continue, this video is sponsored by Squad OV. Squad OV is a program that automatically records your games and provides you with a full overview of the stats afterwards. It also automatically bookmarks important moments in the game so you can quickly look back at those situations. If it was an amazing play that you wanted to share with your friends, you can very easily clip this as well. I personally really like looking back at all my deaths and overall objective fights like Dragon and Baron to see what I could do better to improve my game faster. You can install Squad OV using the free link in the description and set up an account in a matter of seconds. Thank you to Squad OV for sponsoring this video. I think Karthus is probably going to be the easiest gank out of all of them. If I can catch him out of position, he's just dead because Karthus is very slow. Make sure to use the attack speed from W. I'm walking this camp so I take less damage. There we go. I am strongly considering an Amumu invade. Let's see what's going on with this. Draven is pushing, as predicted. There we go, let's go for his red buff. Yo, what's up, Fuzzle? How are you doing? I'm gonna go for his red here, I think this invade will be okay. I'm gonna have to... Actually, that's kind of bad. Did he ward? What's happening here? Where's this Amumu? What? He didn't do raptors on a Mumu? Are you drunk? Interesting. That was pretty troll. I'm flashing that. I actually probably could have lived without flashing, but, but not the same. I don't know. Uh, it looked a little sketch to me, so that's why I flashed it. This Amumu actually just went for a three camp clear on Amumu. He's mental. I got an extremely good flank on the situation there as well. He's probably beelining it for bot skull, I would imagine, so I'm not, not even gonna bother. I got a pretty nice back in a bit here. Good. I'll do wolves and press recall right afterwards. Only just hit level four. Ouch. Imagine. Alright. I'm gonna be on my way bolt now. A nice control with this. I'm not switching to Red Trinket because I'm playing Lee Sin. I want my Ward Hops. I'll probably just beeline it for Bolt. I don't think Tri would be warded. Could be, but she just warded here. All right, then. That should be no problem. I could also probably just lane gank it. We'll see about the engage potential here. No, Katarina, don't. Wait, is this is... Uh, is this gonna work? That's not gonna work. 
I feel like this could be warded as well. Also, like the Katarina rotating out of mid there is not too great because... Oh, okay. It's not too great because the... Um, it's kind of instantly like backspam ping him. Okay, that works. I hit the skill shield on the Draven. He flashed me into the enemy team. If the Katarina doesn't rotate out of mid here, the Karthus wouldn't like start backspam pinging, if you know what I mean. So if she would stay mid, it would be a little bit less, I guess, pressure from the enemy team uh, towards my their, their bot lane having to walk away, essentially. If that makes any sense. Because I'm assuming Karthus was just backspam pinging the entire time, basically. Got a pretty good situation on bot though. Draven has no flesh now, which is good to know. Only issue in this situation is my experience is really bad. Not playing a full clear jungler, heck W. Level five. Shen ultimates, you hate to see it. That channel was clutched. The guy would have died for sure otherwise. A very clutch Shen ultimate. Wait a second. Just gonna push that a little bit. I want to get some mid XP, but I also think bot scuttle should be up here. Oh boy. Let me sidestep that one real quick. I need to walk back there to uh, protect. I'm just gonna smite this for the fastest clear speed and before Mumu gets here, hopefully. Oh boy. Oh no, this is bad. The I should have aggroed the dragon. Yeah, that, I got pincered there. That sucks. I should have thought about that a little bit more. I don't know how I could have gotten out though, because my bot lane wasn't moving an inch. If my bot lane would have like at least stepped up a little bit on the minimap towards potentially rotating to that play, I could have tried something. And with tried something, I mean go into their jungle and kite them out that way. I'm just gonna have to speed run here. It should be fine. I'm gonna turn, surely. What the heck did he just do? The man literally queued a minion. There's no way he intended to do that. That's actually tragic. God damn it. Me, please hit six off this minion. Really didn't? Wow. There's level six. That's good. I can't follow that. My bot lane is not in a good position to follow that, unfortunately. I can definitely do his blue though. All right, then if you want to die, let's be my guest. Wait, why did you? Oh, he's like one HP. Never mind. I was going for that blue because the Amumu could never contest that. I had no issues with that. If he wanted to commit to that, that's fine with me. I also got ignited by Nami just now. I, must stay I see. He's level 8, this guy. Strong as hell. The bot scuttle real quick. Mumu is definitely going to go for his red buff here. There's no way he goes for anything else. Quickly get rid of this.
He went straight for the gank instead of the red buff. Interesting. I'm gonna wait at least 20 seconds before I want to go for that bolt gank. Clear that ward, that would be great. Oh, okay, they just insta warded it again. I can't clear any of that. Uh. No, you actually doesn't. He doesn't wait for me. Oh, uh, why did you do that, Katarina? She ulted in such a... Uh, Jen instantly ulted as well, which I should have thought about more. But I think I, if the Katarina didn't start ulting up here, she could have had a better play. Because I would have been able to dash back towards her as well with my W, which was my intention. I wanted to flash kick the Karthus into the Katarina. Katarina can make the play and then I can W dash back to him. Didn't think about Chen ultimate, not gonna lie, but the Katarina jumped in right that second on the Karthus for no reason. Because, like, right there, that play for Katarina is not good if she d dives in like that, which obviously you just saw. But, yeah, that kind of sucks. Well, never gonna make such a play again with this guy. This Shen has been saving this Karthus' life. Very solid Shen ultimates. Just gonna kite this out, wait for my Camille. There it goes. Beautiful. I was on purpose running into him, so he take the engage. He was never going to kill me in that situation. I know Shen does a lot of damage, but not that much damage. So we take the engage there, and then the Camille can just clean up. She was close enough. I'm gonna walk past this camp as well, do it real quick. Good. The spirits live among us. Their power echoes throughout the land. I need my bolt lane to react to this if I want to do this. I'm just gonna do scuttle in the meantime. Oh yeah, took the engage. He also flashed. Alright. Both of these flashes are down. We go for the Drake now. Why is nobody helping me, Dragon? Like, oh, this is great, isn't it? Let's get out of this. Man, nobody, really nobody wanted that dragon. Holy moly. The fact that Amumu actually got there first, I, I honestly, holy shit. Alright. I should get mercs here, I think. Mercs and then Sterax, more control wards. Got those ward hops in here. Do I think loser's Q exists? No. I think mental boom Q exists because you mental boom yourself when you tilt too much. And then you start playing worse and then you think your team is playing worse, but you, in fact you're playing worse yourself. Generally how it goes. That is uh, another Shen ultimate. 
My fists are my weapons. Damn, I should have called that off. I actually thought he was gonna recall. I'm just gonna kick him. Let's get out of there. I don't want to ensure his death there. Oh. Wow, he actually kited that way. Damn, my bad. I didn't read him properly. I do not know why she ulted that, to be honest. I can't go in on that, he'd just kill me. I would love to, but I cannot do that. That would just be a straight int. Let me check this out. He's down. Check all of his camps. This stage in the game, you want to pressure the enemy jungler as much as you can for his camps. Instead of your own. Like, your own are less valuable than the enemies. Actually gonna place a ward here. I do want this wolf camp. Come on. He's rocking that way. Interesting. I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna walk for Tulp's Cuddle. I mean... The dragon blade, my I oh no, this is not looking great. I guess I should have walked through the jungle instead. Wait, Draven is just completely trolling, I suppose. Interesting. Classic Draven players. Man, cannot cannot believe this. Every Draven you see. The flash that Carthazil's not gonna kill me from this range, so I'm not worried about that. All I wanna do is give him a jump. I am not doing that. I'm good on that one, thank you. I'm just gonna do Rift Herald. There's the Karthus ultimate. They're obviously gonna walk back. The only, like, I don't necessarily like holding Rift Herald on Elise Sin that much, because it prevents me from my warding trinket. I have to clear this real quick and go back, because it's gonna give me enough gold for my Sterex. I have enough gold right now, but... Get this, really quickly recall, get towards the dragon. Get Sterex here. Good, and we just sprint towards Drake here. I'm gonna run past red buff. I kind of think I have to wait for Katarina and Camille. I have not made this Amumu's life very fun, I don't think. I th don't think he enjoyed it very much. I'll just run to Drake first. Get this. I'm just gonna go for the red buff because I want this. It's not worth giving it to Ezreal, so I'm just gonna take it. I'm the strongest member on my team right now, I think. Here we go. Team gap, he says. The only reason he, he survived mid lane is because of his top laner. I don't know what he's talking about. Don't get taunted. 
<laughs> All right then. I don't know where that Q went, but sure. I feel like I should just. Uh... Yeah, whatever. I didn't think Draven was gonna do anything anyway. Can I? Thank you. I'm just gonna use Herald. I I want my Warding Trinket back, to be honest. It's not a bad Herald use here either. Draven gave up like, I don't know, two minutes ago or something. I don't know what he's doing now. No juking. Just need to make sure the Herald gets the next bounce as well. Got a good bounce there. One solid auto attack on the turret should do it. Ooh, this actually could be a little sketch. Right, kick him real quick. Shield my Katarina so she doesn't die. Beautiful. This is why we max shield second. Saving Katarina's life. And they have it. Nice. And that's it for Lee Sin. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button below. Helps me out quite a bit. If you'd like to see more videos from me in the future, hit the subscribe button as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.